Okay, I'm going to talk about how to put together the clamp kit. Now, to start off with, we have, uh, you'll see, you'll recognize this picture from what's on my Etsy page uh, showing uh, the parts of what they do, a little bit about it, and where you can purchase this. So, start off with the clamp stop. I'll tell you where that goes here in a second. And also the, oopsie, you get the, uh, the block sled with the metal insert and the block itself that is the key to the whole thing and the screw sled, and we'll talk about this one last. Okay, I decided to design this system so it was affordable for everybody, and one thing that was easy and that fit nicely was the 18-inch Harbor Freight bar clamp. Now, I suggest finding one near you. You can get it on Amazon, might take a couple weeks, or I can ship one to you. I suggest not buying it from me because the cost of me, um, uh, of me having to ship it out to you is painful. I'll package it up. It's not going to be a pretty box, but I'll do it, and I'll be more than happy to. I'll also add in holes um, in two places, one at the very end, one in the middle, so you have a couple options. But if you have an 8 millimeter drill yourself, you're going to be able to take care of this. And if you have um, a Harbor Freight near you, you can buy one of these, and you'll save yourself a ton of money. Once you have your 18-inch Harbor Freight bar clamp, you'll notice that there's a pin and a hole in the back. You're going to leave that one alone. That keeps the bar from sliding out of the handle. There's also a, a pair of opposing jaws that it comes with and a hole down here with another pin. That pin needs to be knocked out with a screwdriver and the opposing jaw could be slipped off. You're never going to use it again for this system. Once you have the opposing jaw pulled off of the bar clamp, you'll want to take an 8 millimeter drill bit and drill it out in any hole you want. Pick a place, but you need to be as close to the center as you can to help the system slide freely inside the table. Once you have your 8 millimeter holes drilled into the bar of the bar clamp, you want to take the clamp stop and slip it onto the front end of the bar and slide it all the way down against the bar clamp. Now that you have your clamp stop attached to your bar clamp, you get your sled. Oh, it's already in the hole. You take your sled and you line it up with the bar clamp lengthwise and fit it into the 8 millimeter hole. Real simple. Then you take your bar clamp, take your Allen wrench, fit it into that threaded insert, and it keep this the lengthwise kind of perpendicular to the length of the bar. Hold on to the block sled so it maintains alignment with your, with your bar clamp. And you don't have to really crank it down too hard. You just want to get it snug. Don't crank it down too much because if you do, you might warp the sled down below. And so you want to be able to keep this thing snug, but it doesn't have to be cranked down. It's not important. Okay, now that you have your block sled and your block attached to your bar clamp, you just want to fit it into your T-slot. Pretty obvious, right? Push up from the bottom, and so the thing can just slide in. I designed the system so your, your T-slot doesn't rub much on the bottom of the block, so it allows you to slide in and out easily. When you first install this and you've never used it before, it will take a little bit of wear. It will take a little bit of time to wear off. You'll see that I've used this one a few times, and it starts to get the wear on here. That's normal. You'll also find that if you have any junk in that track, it's going to make it harder to slide back and forth. But once you have it in place, you're good to go. This thing's ready to rumble. And the nice, nice thing is, is once everything's installed, you can pull these out, put them aside, do whatever you need to. And if you ever need a second one, a third one, it's always attached to your bar clamp. And you just slide it right back in again, and you're good to go. Simple. So the last part I want to talk about for the clamp kit is the screw sled. And this complements the whole system. So if you're working in metal, you're going to want to have that extra bit of assurance that the thing is going to be held. And so rather than using plastic, you want to use steel and really give it a good grip. So in order to get that accomplished, you're going to be taking your bar clamp and, and putting, a, putting a hole in the center somewhere with a 6 millimeter drill bit. You can't use the 8 millimeter like we had for that steel insert. But you have to use a 6 millimeter in order for this screw to work. 
Now this, this, uh, this sled is designed for this system so it keeps the slack, it keeps any movement inside the track from your keeping your material from movement wiggling around. So, but it's real simple. Again, slide it in, boom, there you go. When you start clamping this sucker down, it grips. So now you'll be able to use metal. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think.